When our airstrikes helped break the siege of the Iraq town of Emerly, one Kurdish fighter on the ground said, it would have been absolutely impossible without the American planes. One resident of that city said, thank you, America. Today, we're showing the world the best of American leadership. And as a resident of Washington, D.C., I continue to benefit from the contributions of Russians, specifically from Alexander Ovechkin. My name is Sarah Landry, and I'm a Bozeman resident. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. That afternoon, most of the resident staff, including myself, rushed outside to try to hold the tent down during an afternoon thunderstorm that might have taken off tent, tables, china glass, the whole thing might have disappeared in a big summer storm in Washington. I know. I saw it. Oh, that's my last one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's, what's well, this is a resident of our retirement home. She's the oldest resident in Mount Pleasant. She's going to be 107 next Wow. Year. Every resident of this community has watched this nightmare threaten the dreams that they've worked so hard to build. We saw it in the folks who helped evacuate an entire nursing home, including one man who drove an elderly resident to safety and then came back to do it again twice. One resident said, we're on. As one resident said, we just say a prayer and then get to work. So the people of Valonia and all the other towns devastated by the storm uh, understand there's a lot of work that remains to be done. But And I think we can follow the lead of Standing Rock's most famous resident, Chief Sitting Bull. But I do think that there are, there are practices we have, for example, where uh, someone it has a relation in the United States is clearly qualified to become at some point a legal resident and maybe in the future a citizen. But in order to do it, they then have to first leave the country, wait. Now they're separated from their families.